Hey Tauruses, welcome back to Deku Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot and astrology for July 6th through the 12th of 2020. If you haven't, do make sure to subscribe guys and hit that wiggly bell in the corner to get notified whenever I put up a video or go live. And I thank you so much for all of your support. This week in terms of astrology, the biggest thing we got going on is Mercury going direct at the end of the week there on July 12th, 13th, depending on where you are in the world. So um, Mercury loves to kick the door on the way out, so be prepared for that. Don't be surprised, um, especially because we do have that shadow period even when it goes direct for about two weeks after. As you can tell, it's extremely hot here, guys, so bear with me as I sweat through this reading. <laughs> And I'm actually doing this reading on that full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn, so be sure to check out those videos. That energy is definitely going to be very prevalent in these readings. I did one where I pulled a card for each sign, and I did another where we talked about all the astrology um, with this eclipse, with this full moon, and, you know, how it will be affecting us in the next six months. And, um, yeah, so check those out, guys, and do make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Let's get into your reading here. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we're using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, okay, okay. One at a time, guys. All right. Oh, hair. about you guys but these eclipses have been knocking me left right from behind everywhere it's been very intense and that's why I feel like I haven't been able to do my normal monthlies in so long it has just been so crazy I have had no time life is just imploding here or there it's like I feel like I'm just like oh like running away from different bombs being thrown at me constantly <laughs> so let's see here it's an absolute joke right Taurus, why are your cards coming out so much slower than everybody else's? <laughs> um, let's just get right into it and continue to pull as we go through here. The High Priestess shows up with the Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. And I really like to think that this is a call for you to prioritize planning things out this week and listening to how you feel about things. If something doesn't feel right, look at why. Listen to your higher self at this time. Listen to what's coming through. And this is definitely a message with her and this Four of Swords here to meditate. It will help you figure out a way for it. It will help you see things in a, in a better way. To prospect for the future. To really look at which direction you want to take this now. The Two of Wands has you kind of at a sort of standstill here. Kind of deciding where we're going to take this. Where are we feeling the energy drawing us now that we've come to this point? We've started something, so how will we continue? How will we proceed? And where do we want to proceed now? It's listening to where our higher self is taking us with this energy. Because the high priestess is this very intuitive, within you kind of energy. She's what I consider the higher self. The higher self wants to come through to you. So make time for it. Make sure that you're resting. Make sure that you're being open. Make sure that you're open to really looking at things in a different way. And especially a less structured way than you have before. Life has been a certain, I mean, for Tauruses being fixed earth, I feel that we adhere to a certain amount of structure and we don't like to change. We don't enjoy change in general because we're fixed signs, but especially being a Taurus, we get into a routine, we see things as they are, and we might not want to change in some ways. However, with Uranus and our sign the past couple of years, and I know I mentioned this like every five minutes, but for Tauruses, that is such a big energy. And when Uranus is in Taurus, big things happen. And I, you can go check out my video that I did a, a while back on that. Um, it's very, I think that if you haven't seen that, you really should go check it out as a Taurus, um, because it is changing our life. It's changing the structure of our life, the structure of our belief systems, the structure of, you know, who we want to be and how we see our life. I know that the way that I've seen life and what I want to be and the way I want to live my life has totally changed. And I've realized, you know, I was living my life for people that weren't me. And I was putting other people's happiness and comfort and stability over myself. And what I wanted out of life. We have one life to live. So make sure you're doing what it is you want to do. What makes you truly happy. You know, 
get it, you know, this is your life. So make sure it is your life, really. And the Hero Font Reverse is this energy that is very different. It's very, um, I always see it as this unorthodox kind of energy. It's unorthodoxy because when it's upright, it's very orthodox. It's unorthodox. It's, you know, being open to new ideas and unconventional ways of living, and unconventional ways of doing work, etc. Unconventional relationships. An unconventional relationship may be coming back into your life there. Or somebody from your past that is very unconventional and brings this sense of newness and openness to new ideas and um, really gets your gears going in some ways in a positive way for change. So let's continue on this here. Also again with Mercury being retrograde and I know, I don't know if it's my placements that make me less susceptible to that. Oh, I'm like, what are they doing from the past, etc., etc. during Mercury retrograde? But I know so many of you guys are like, what's that ex doing? I know they're going to come back and talk to me, won't they? Please stop. Just stop that, okay? If they're gone out of your life and they're not talking to you, maybe it's a good thing. Like, let's just not even think about it. Like, please. I Just don't get caught up in that. Just please don't get caught up in that, especially, like, coming out of that Vetus retrograde and stuff. It's just, just don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. If it's someone from the past that's coming back and, like, they're this unorthodox, like, weird, like, kinky relationship or something like that, don't mess with them. Oh, my gosh. I know that it might seem exciting and fun this time around. Oh, my God. It'd be so interesting. Like, oh, wouldn't that be fun? And I think I could change my whole life for that. Don't change your whole life for somebody like that. Be open to new ideas. Be unorthodox, but not in terms of exes or people coming back right now okay please i don't know why readers get up here on the internet and say things like that if people if you're getting going through a lot of readings that are saying that please shut that person off and know that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about i'm sorry that makes me so mad when i get on youtube and i see so many things like that because it's not true those things are not true does that really happen to you every week no and i think as tauruses we can be down to earth and grounded enough to see when people are bullshitting us about twin flames and love situations and taking advantage of the energy that is now and not reading cards right because they don't know how to read okay i'm sorry i didn't mean for that to become a roast but it's been a time here watching what's happened to youtube and the reading the metaphysical community on youtube so I just don't like it when people drive people in the wrong direction. I think it's wrong and it's mean and it's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's continue looking at your cards and letting my own energy get the best of me. And the cards are like, calm down. <laughs> all right, Tauruses. Really, this week is about perspective. It's about looking at... why we might not be happy where we are and why we might want more. All right, can I get one card? One more card. I feel like there's one more that wants to come out here. That's literally the only card that I'm waiting for. I'm getting a call for one more. Instead of, you know, reconnecting with people from the past, reconnect with feelings, emotions, things that you enjoy from the past. Things that make you feel creative, unorthodox, things that bring you back to those moments of inspiration, excitement, emotional clarity. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds exciting. Oh, now I have this really great idea to do this, or I want to do this now. I had this idea when I was younger to, you know, live this kind of life. Why did I put that away? Why did I put that down? Was that because I was afraid that it was too far off the beaten path? Was I afraid about how people would think of me? If I decided to go that route, is that why I didn't decide to do that? My Two of Swords is reversed. You've been disloyal to your own interests is how I feel there. Yeah. It's time for you to take power in who you are and not be afraid to show the world who you are. Tauruses have this quiet... This set, I don't even want to say that you guys are quiet, but we're not the loudest in the bunch. We are really funny when you do talk to us. And it takes a while to get to know a Taurus because we're not going to be like, I'm not going to give you everything on a silver platter first time you meet me. I'm not that type of person, please. But it's being more prideful of who you are and how you want your life to be and taking control of your life in a really amazing, powerful, empowered way. Yeah, this is how I want to live my life. Do you got a problem with it? 
yeah, this is my idea. You got a problem with it? Yeah, I want to move across the world and follow my dreams and do this job that's totally different than maybe what you see me as, but I know I can do it and it's what I want to do and I'm going to do it. And I don't need your questions. I'm done lamenting over how it would make you feel. I'm done holding myself up over the fear of failure when there's so much to be offered out there and so much that I love that I can go for. It's all about you taking action on this. You move from the two of wands to the three of wands just by feeling your way through this and trusting in your gut rather than in everybody else's opinions. And I have to say, Taurus, success is yours. People will celebrate you, even if you fear that they're not going to celebrate you on the way there. Once you show them what you can do and how quickly your ships come in and that what you have to offer, what you have to bring to the table, what you're moving forward on, whatever it might be, it's freaking worth it. And everyone's going to be like, all right, yeah. All right, yeah, Taurus, you did it. Yeah, there it is. I don't even want to pull... I'm not going to, I actually know, we'll pull, we'll pull a, why can't I speak today, an oracle, I almost just called an oshicle card, thank you Mercury, Ret I can't deal with this retrograde anymore, I cannot speak, um, ten of cups here, do we really need to explain rainbows, happiness, joy, celebration with all the people that you love the most, with true love coming in, if that's what you've been waiting for, but what, I, this feels more like living your life to this level of happiness, contentment, fulfillment, and making life yours, truly. Let's pull. Yeah, let's pull one. We're going to pull one. Even though this video is a little bit longer than the others. Ooh. Centering. Never leave your center. Count your bad points as well as your good. What is good and what is bad are most often purely relative. If you sense a weakness within yourself, explore it. It may become the source of your greatest strength. As you sit like a sacred Buddha amid the pandemonium of your life, always remember that the situation or person who has the ability to upset you the most to pull you off center is your greatest teacher in the process of centering. Such negativity can become your addiction. Center yourself in your power and release your need for constant distraction from your center. All right, Tauruses, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. Do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to comment and let me know how this resonated. If you want to book a private reading, all that information is below in the description box, um, along with all the information um, on how to get money off on Truly Divine's really incredible numerology analysis, compatibility, and astrology birth chart analysis. They do an incredible job, do it at like 20, 30 pages. Like it's crazy the amount of extremely and insanely accurate information that they send you. So check them out. Use my code as many times as you want. Share it with as many people as you want. And have a wonderful and blessed week, guys. All right, namaste.